Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to pick right up where we left off last time and we're going to be giving a because last video we used a dictionary and we looked up values of letters and we came up with a total value of what a word would be if we assign a value to each letter so now we're going to use Unicode or ASCII or whichever way you'd like to um, think about it but each character in a computer has a value so if you've not seen the Unicode video I think it's three or four back so but just type in Unicode it'll uh, pull right up so all right let's just jump into it so when we used the we had to make a key we had to make it or we had to we had to make a keys and we used a dictionary so we had to download uh, the string import as key lowercase all that we won't go into it but this is how simple this can be we use happy we did so all right this is how simple this is gonna be let's jump over here first all right you remember ORD and it takes in a single let's do a quick refresher this is important one character string one character one character at a time important so all right ORD so all right a we got to find our starting point 96 so last time we assigned it one but a right now a is 97 how do we get to one I want you to look at this even I can figure this out so what's the answer one <coughs> excuse me so list comprehension with our sum function maybe I'll just do a video on uh, sum to make sure because I just realized I don't think I've done one on sum but everybody should know what sum is so all right here we go this is how we're going to do list comprehension with ORD all right here we'll do we'll do our regular for loop and then I'll go back so for I in word okay we close out and let's last time I left off a of parentheses because I got fancy so alright there's our for loop now with list comprehension it goes the part before our for loop so there's your for loop go back to the beginning so then we can do our function of I close it out and then what did we need to do minus 96 it is that simple and then we print and if you didn't look at the last video the total should be 66 so let's see how we did I haven't tested this in a while so okay run save 45 oops what I do wrong so give me one second oh <laughs> what I do I put a string in there now let's run this anybody see what I did go back and pause that and go look at it I actually put a string instead of the variable I so that was my problem I just did I over and over and over again five times you can check my math but okay let's go over this one more time so each time through I'll just do a couple of these H it's as key variable is 104 104 minus 96 which is our starting point is 8 and if you go back and look at the lat uh, the last list comprehension that's exactly the same so this is a much we did three lines of code here compared to I think the last one was six so this is the Unicode version of a quick value of a word if we were to make some sort of primer one of the next videos we're going to be doing is um, how to make like a cipher 
that stuff gets really cool because you have to have a key and you have to vary it and go from there. So don't forget to click the like button and that subscribe button and leave any comments below, any questions or concerns or anything you'd like me to explain in further detail or a subject that I haven't touched on yet. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.